Hi guys, it's currently Wednesday afternoon, just about to strike one o'clock actually. Actually, well, according to the PC, it is one o'clock. I wasn't looking at the light in particular, that's just why I had the camera when I turned it on. Right. I've still got that unusual plug. I don't think I'll use it because it is rather old and it's got chip there. I think it's Bakelite. I think. Don't hold me to that. MK brand 13 amp. No um, insulated pins. It could still be used if you really wanted to but I think I'm just going to keep it as a just a little keepsake, you know, days gone by. I don't know the age, but you're probably looking at 60, 1960s or even older. I don't know. Actually, if I was to guess, I'd say 1960s. Could be 50s, somewhere like that, but... Stick it. No, I'm not. Drop it straight on the floor. That's going to do it the world of good, isn't it? Right. I wanted it to sit like that. There we go. Something like that. If I come across any other little old trinkets like that, I'll uh, stick those in here as well. I can use them to fill up these little gaps. When I'm done throwing it on the floor, that is. I know why, because if, if you get it wrong, it's front heavy because of those pins. What I might do then is just lay it on its side. I think that's the safest option. Yeah, it's a bit front end heavy because of those pins. Right, well, I haven't done a lot. Not yet. I've vegetated in front of the PC. That's about it. I've got to take this down later. Just to... um change that front wheel, take it for a test ride, trim some cables down, mustn't forget to take the foot pump down. I don't want to do it yet because, well, I saw Mum on Monday, I think. Yeah, it was Monday because I didn't see her yesterday, did I? Um, she said she's got a dental appointment this afternoon after work. Uh, I can't remember what time though. But uh, she's going to have a wander around town, around the charity shops and whatnot. So, no doubt at about 1.30, 2 o'clock, my phone will ring. In fact, it's not going to take me that long to do that wheel. So I might go downstairs after I've just done this clip and uh, sort that front wheel out. It's not going to take uh, 10 minutes. Actually, it might because I've got to dig the bloody wheel out of the shed. I've buried it. <laughs> it's um, in a pile on the right hand side of the shed with. I think it's about four bikes leaning on it. Because um, I stuck the a load of wheels down between the wall or in the gap between the wall and the first bike that was leaning in the shed. And uh, then, of course, I've got stuff stacked on top of those bikes. So, actually, I think it's just the shopper bike. I stuck that out, oh, shopper bike and a bike frame. That'll give me a chance to um, take that shelf down that fell off the wall as well. Uh, I don't think I'll put it back up. I'll just take it down for now. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Ooh. Ow! <laughs> um, I serviced that extension lead. I just um, tidied it up more than anything. Um, well, as I had the plug and the socket open anyway, I took those off because it would have been easier to, or was easier to untangle it. But where this was. Um, taped in the insulation there was a nick in the out in this um 
outer insulation so I just cut it off there because well, the lead is still plenty long enough but uh, I can make a half decent long one using this off cut which is what I'm going to do using that and the plug when I find one but yeah it was better than um, re-taping the lead I just cut it off and reattached the plug that's the other reason I took the plug off <laughs> I could have just put the tape back round it, it was safe enough you know it wouldn't have hurt but, uh, I thought you know while I'm at it and I wanted something to do anyway to be honest I could have just used the lead as it was <laughs> I didn't have to do any of that um, but the other one I've got on the wooden reel that's the one I took the um, plug off well you saw the <laughs> saw the state of the plug yesterday. Where is it? There it is. But the one thing I couldn't figure out is it's a three core cable, but there was no earth connected. For some reason. <laughs> Not sure why the um person who wired that up decided on that, but never mind. That wouldn't have been good to have uh plugged anything that requires an earth into it anyway you know like a power tool as if uh, god forbid you know power tool shorts out and shorts to earth it ain't gonna do anything it's not gonna trip the RCD or anything they'll just give you a shock and probably kill you <clears throat> if you're extremely unlucky it will kill you I've been lucky I've had main shocks and I'm still alive but uh, Actually, I can think of one was my own stupid fault because I tried to get a bit too big for my own boots. Um, and a bit too overconfident, I think. And I know at least one time it was just clumsiness. The thing I was working on was sitting in my lap at the time and uh, it slipped. And I went to catch it and touched the lathe um, terminal just as I caught it. <laughs> But thankfully the device wasn't on and I wasn't really earthed out anyway, so I just got tingle. But yeah, it's still not nice. Uh, but I think the worst one I've ever had would be in the garden shed I had when I was younger. That was before mum and dad split up. Um, It was just laziness really, I had to fix something with the electrics in the shed and I couldn't be bothered to go all the way indoors, up the stairs to disconnect the power because it was just plugged into a wall socket. Don't ask, I didn't do it, that's just how it was when we moved in. <laughs> and uh, so I thought I could do it live. Left a wire hanging in the shed that was live didn't realise I was that close to it when I went to turn round and I brushed it with this hand. Thankfully I did only brush it because uh, again I only got a tingle. But uh, yeah, that's sort of like uh, I go up and turn power off now. So I did. <laughs> yeah, so I recommend that uh, unless you absolutely have to work on something live, turn the power off. Sometimes you have to, because you have to have it live to um, find the fault. But uh, if you don't have to have it on, don't turn the power on. Make sure it's turned off and fully disconnected. I keep looking at the DIY place opposite. And there's been no activity there for nearly a month now, and it's just like they just got up and abandoned it. It's just like everything there has just been abandoned. There's a wheelbarrow over there, there's a ladder. Those radiators will be scrapped now. Well, I can see they've gone rusty. Look, they ain't no good. They're scrap. There's, um, Wrong way. Drain pipes, some traffic cones, some other black piping. There's even a little um, cement mixer. 
there's whatever else lying down there and the other side of this brick wall there's stuff leaning up against that as well I mean right down that end there's um, a load of a brand new PVC doors leaning up what have I got a feeling that's mine? be back in a minute right quickly because I forgot to charge the camera <laughs> no surprise there the uh, magnet is downstairs, almost done. Um, oh, pardon me, I've got to uh, change pedals on it because one of the ones I put on it um, is bent. It's my solitaire game has just uh, clicked in. But my part has been dispatched for this, so it should be here Friday, maybe Saturday. So. I've decided I'll bring this in ready for um, the necessary repairs and I tell you this is actually pretty uh, pretty light you know? virtually no weight to it and I'm gonna have to adjust that mud guard because that squeak is doing my head in uh, Do I need to do the front gears? Possibly. Because they go up and not come down. Not that a helping, helping kick from my boot. In that case then I think I'll just replace all four cables. I was going to the gear ca rear gear cable anyway and rear brake cable. Uh, front one works, I've just got to put a disc back on the wheel. Because I borrowed it. <laughs> oh dear. Mm, that was a squeaky one. Right. Um, it's not going to be a perfect repair, but. What those emergency hangers are actually designed to do is just to sit, well basically in this gap with this bit, you know, holding it on. It'll work temporarily, you know, still bolt the dryer to it. Um, but I haven't got the money nor the means at the moment to um, get the proper bit, so... Because I've got to travel to Chroma. There is a cycle shop in town. I don't know if he'd be able to get me the part. I can uh, always go in and check, I suppose. But for now, I'll just get that bit and it'll do. Oh, I've got a bit of wind at the minute. Uh, I want my tyres a bit squidgy. They're going to need pumping up. Where's the valve? There's the valve. Have I got Yeah, I have. I've got a hand pump up here and I've got the adapters in there. Right. BB is okay. BB, bottom bracket. Whee! Alloy pedals from the look of it. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyone that's watched my um, videos from last year will uh, know I've had this one kicking... Jesus! Kicking around for a while. Phew, that one's not a very nice one either. <laughs> Talk about gas yourself. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I borrowed the front disc for the... for um... Claude the First, actually, I think. I think that's what I put it on. I've got a pile of discs anyway, I'll just chuck another one on there. And, uh, that was the only thing that was letting it down when I bought this bike. That bit had broken. But I've ordered a um, replacement. <laughs> Not the actual part, but it'll get it working again at least. That's the uh, sole purpose. Because this is so light, I bet this would actually be quite nice to go on. Um, long rides such as to cat's custom trike so I would like to get this one done <clears throat> yeah, I know the rear brake was a bit sticky so I'm going to change that cable 
I was disconnected as well for some reason. Why did I disconnect that? I can't remember. Doesn't matter because it's coming off. It's actually a friend of mine that owned this and uh, he then got a different bike, a giant with um, hydraulic brakes on it and whatnot, and uh, sold this one to me. I could, if I really want to, I could um, convert this to a road bike. And I could put a short stem on there, and I've got a pair of black handlebars. Anyway, the battery light is flashing, so I'm going to stop jibber jabbering and uh, get this charged. Right, well, I've had tea. I had, um, what was it? Garlic baguettes with some chips. I actually haven't got anything to put with chips at the minute. Yes, I'll feed you in a minute, sir. Sorry, sir. Fuck off, sir. <laughs> I just had a wasp buzzing around in here, which I have just killed off with bug spray. So I fucking stank up this corner now. <sighs> Do these. I actually can't stand wasps. If that was a bee, I'd have caught it and put it outside. Wasps? No, them evil little fuckers can die for all I care. Evil, nasty, sadistic bastards. Right, I'm going to feed me, though. Stick you up here for a moment. And yes, I've got my shirt off because I was rather warm earlier. It's cooling off now, though. So I think my shirt can go back on, especially as I believe... Yeah, I've got a bike to go and put in the shed anyway. Also excited because that part for the Carrera has been posted. Can't see why it's not going to work. I might be better off if I can perhaps drilling a hole in it and um, screw, trying to find like a small screw to screw it to the frame as one possibility just to add the extra strength to keep it on the frame. Um, but other than that, it'll be a bit awkward taking the wheel on and off because I'd have to remove the derailleur. That's all. I would just have to remove the derailleur from the bracket. That's. I think that's why it's designed as a temporary thing. <sighs> that's some potent stuff. But yeah. Um. But that would only happen as and when I get punctures, which, touch wood, <coughs> doesn't happen to me very often. So, yeah. But then that'll be this one up and running. And I think getting the emergency dropout would be um, cheaper than buying the actual bit as well, if it's still available. That's the other problem. It may not still be available, so... Which is a bit of a bastard, because then that would write off a perfectly good chain, unless... Chain. Frame, rather. Not chain. Unless you wanted to use this as a fixie conversion. Because I could, if I wanted to, I could... Um, take that straight bar off and put racing bike handlebars on there. I've got a nice black set over at Mum's. I think. Or did I bring them home? No, they are still over there in the workshop, I believe. But yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to getting this beast up and running. Those mudguards actually came with the bike from the factory, because I've seen photos of this. So, yeah, it's a Halfords brand as well. What is that, a Carrera Griffin? Griffin? Yeah. Yeah, it says on the um, seat tube. Light as anything, this thing. It really is light. Look at it. I'm not even having to struggle to lift it. No, I don't consider myself to be very strong. Not in that upper body, anyway. But, uh, yeah. Or at least not in my arms, because I don't do a lot of uh, lifting with my arms. Legs and middle. But not arms. And uh, someone posted a question on Facebook, right? 
I want to know what times the um, Jubilee rooms, uh, not what times, I'll get it right. They want to know when the Jubilee rooms in town opened because they want to hire them for a, um, a birthday. But um, what gets me is if they googled North Walsham Jubilee rooms, they would have got their answer because they've got a website. They could have um, grabbed the phone number off the website and, uh, you know, answered their own question. But loads of people do it. They will go online and ask on Facebook groups or ask on their own profile, you know, their own friends and family. I, we all do it. Even I've done it. I still do it occasionally as well. And I think afterwards, why don't I just Google it? But... I'm just wondering why we do it. You know, Google's at our fingertips these days. You can access it through your bloody smartphone, tablet, PC, laptop, and uh, access it almost wherever you are. Unless you're in the middle of nowhere, because you don't get a very good signal. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe it's just habit because we still like to ask our friends and family <clears throat> I don't know oh, I think I might have to uh, deal with my wind problem before I actually follow through I think oh, I need a wee wee as well oh there's nothing worse than that when you need to go for a dump and a piss at the same time <laughs> Now you don't know whether to cross your legs or nip your ass up. Anyway, I'm going to go and do that and uh, put this camera back on charge. And seems to, a short charge seems to boost the battery well enough to use it again. But I'm just grab the cable here. I don't think that one was that audible, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to disappear and deal with that before. Um, my pants end up dealing with it. Okay, I'm back for the last uh, time tonight. And I've thought, while well, I perhaps have a chat about some random crap or whatever, I might as well get this uh, extension lead made up with the um, off cut from the one I serviced because I cut it off from where the uh, damage was. In fact, it's still, you might just be able to see it there. It's right there. I cut it off just before, but it doesn't matter. I'll just do this. Actually, it doesn't matter anyway because I'm going to strip the insulation back, aren't I? Right, so I've got to make sure I get these in around the right way. And the right, well, I don't think it actually matters where these little things go anyway. Because they all look the same. Right. Well, I've just been playing a little bit of a uh, GTA. Just having a mess about. But I did get um, uh, what is it? A spaceship part on that bridge where um, the only way you're supposed to be able to get to it is parachuting onto it with a, um, you know, from a helicopter. But, it would appear you can cheat and use the um, super jump cheat to get up there, which is what I did. <laughs> so trying to aim right with the um, parachute. Well, I can just um, use the jump cheat to get up there. I've missed one somewhere and I don't know where it is. Um, and I can't remember. Um, oh! Yes, I do know where it is. It's on the airport. I've just remembered, so... If I want to, I can... Turn the PS3 on again later and uh, 
go grab it. Now that I've remembered, then I would have all um, the spaceship parts. But then it's just, what's it, the letters? Is it the letters? I think it's the letters and the, um, the nuclear waste to go for. No, the submarine parts. Oh yeah, and I think the nuclear waste. I've got to do that one as well, haven't I? I think. Ow. Right here. If you're wondering which way the wires go around on this, brown goes to the left, if you look at it this way up. I've got a couple of plugs to my left as well. There, I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. I know one's got a 3 amp fuse in it, which is far from um, good for this application. I need a 13. I'm just... Uh, weather doesn't sound too good out there at the minute. It uh, sounds rather rough, actually. Do the earth wire first because um, that's the shortest and usually the fiddliest. And I think I can actually just snip a smidge more off. Whoops. Strip the insulation back. A lot of people use proper wire strippers, I don't. I use these side cutters. Always have done. And uh, even when I was on work experience with Michael Wright Electrical, most of the electricians that worked for him used the same thing as well back then, so I guess that's one place where I picked it up from. earth in into the gap not like that <laughs> oh off, twist it all up, and I actually think just to make life a bit easier, take the cord grip out, well take a screw out of the cord grip so I can um, rotate it out of the way, which will enable me to get this in. Good. Good. The wires can go around like that. This. Nuts. How do you haven't got a lot to talk about, to be honest? I get hold of the handle better on this one. Uh, well, I believe I'll see Mum again tomorrow. I don't know if I'll go over to Mum's tomorrow. Because Mum's got doctor's appointment. Uh, 
Yeah, but I do need to get to the recycle centre at some point because I'm running out of stock. <laughs> right. I think. Uh, I think I'll do for the time being. Uh, right, that one goes in that, uh, there. me being a doofus, I was putting, putting them in around the wrong way. That ain't gonna work like that, is it? Oh yeah. I wonder if I can, uh, is that gonna work? No. no. Hoping that would work as strain relief if I could have got it around that little uh, fixing post for the cover. That would have actually been really awesome if I could. But never mind. I can't, so... It does have acted as a bit of extra strain relief as well. Oopsie. Little bit too much. That. You know what does help if you actually undo the screw first? Should be far enough. There, now the wire goes into the hole. Well, I've got these, I might as well make use of them. I'm not going to use them otherwise, I'll just sit around here doing absolutely nothing. Let's <coughs> give that a score like this. Anything on Facebook? Hello. I can hear traffic moving outside on the car park. And you're probably thinking, big deal, but uh, there shouldn't be traffic out there at this time of night on the car park. Oh, fish. Get in there, you bastard. Last screw, and I'll put the cover back on. Like so. Pressed in where it's meant to be. There we go. Max load 13 amps. I've got to put a 13 amp fuse in the other end. See, Americans are lucky in that sense. They haven't got to put a fuse in the bloody plug. We have. Because of the way our stupid system is designed. Not that fuses are actually reliable anyway, because they're not, but we still put them in. Obligatory glass of coke. And in case anyone is wondering, yes, that is pretty much all I drink. Apart from the odd cup. Uh, it's not going to matter which plug I use, they're both the same. So here we go again. 
Now, I don't know why I didn't think of doing this before. This is a trick I learnt from someone I watch on YouTube, and I learnt this the other day. Don't know why the electricians, when I was on work experience, didn't do this, but they score, or this guy I watch, scored along the insulation like that. Which enabled you to uh, split it like this. That's actually a lot easier. I usually use these and uh, snip into the end like that, and then use the wires to pull down and split the insulation. But John Ward's way was a better way. So, uh, yeah, learnt something new. I just realised there's a screw missing from the earth terminal. So I can't use that plug. Not for this task anyway. Screw running up loose around in here as well, look. <laughs> from the neutral terminal. My, uh... There we go. Right. Ooh. If you heard that, that was just a boy racer. You get a lot of them on this road. I don't see the fascination with doing that personally, but in this town, as it goes completely dead at night, they're not really causing any harm, just a bit of noise. And they don't do it till stupid o'clock in the morning either, thankfully. But yeah, I'm not condoning racing around town like a bleeding lunatic, because I'm, you know, it's just stupid any time, day or night. Well, at night time they're pretty much only putting themselves at risk because there isn't no other one, no one else on the friggin' road anyway. But still wouldn't want to see them get hurt. In fair, even if they might be idiots, you know they don't deserve it. Might be a sharp wake-up call though if they did end up hurting themselves. But uh, as they say, some people have to learn the hard way. And I've learnt a few things myself the hard way. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I didn't, but that's how it goes. Da -da 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 -da. Actually, to be honest, since the economy went to pot, I haven't actually seen uh, or heard that many boy races about. We used to hear them on, a, it was regular, on a Friday night and a Saturday night that they would just drive round and round and round town, twat laps as we call them. So they would just go round and round and round the bloody one way system in town. Usually as fast as they could if the old bill weren't about. If the police were about, then they had to behave. But I've always said, do what you like. Just don't whinge if you get caught. Because you know what, everyone knows what the road laws are in their country of origin. I don't drive, but I do use the roads. Obviously, you know, I ride the bicycle on the roads. Occasionally on the footpath, but if I got caught by a copper riding on the footpath and they told me to get off or gave me a ticket, then uh, whose fault is it? It's mine. <laughs> Would I go bitching at the cop for doing their job? No. Their job is to uphold the law, and if the law says no riding on the footpath, then that's my fault, isn't it? I shouldn't be riding on the footpath. Still do. <laughs> In fact, I've done it with um, police cars coming towards me, and I've actually thought, 
Oh crap, I'm gonna get stopped now and told to get... Usually around here they'll just tell you to get off and walk. Then you just get on again when they've gone out of the way. <laughs> but um, no, there's been several times lately actually that the cops could have told me including the cop of wannabes, the PCSOs um, but they haven't, they've just carried on driving um, I don't know if it's because nowadays it's just too much freaking pa paperwork and to be honest if you're riding on the footpath and you're not riding like a stark raving lunatic I don't see no harm in it. You know, as long as you're courteous to the pedestrians and who the hell cares if you're on the footpath? Just the same as um, these mobility scooters. But um, technically, by British law, even mobility scooters aren't meant to be on the footpath. Because there is an old British law that is still active today that goes way back um, way back before cars were even thought of when there was just pretty much bicycles baby prams and horse-drawn carriages that actually states that you're not to uh, use the footpath apart from walking on and I can't remember what the um, number is in the law book if you like for that you know such and such section blah blah whatever but uh, I think these days no one really worries uh, the only thing a Copper would worry about at night time is whether if you've got lights on or not. Even though you are meant to have a rear reflector, which is a legal requirement, and amber pedal reflectors, which are also a legal requirement, but I find the police don't usually care about that so long as you've got a front light and a rear light, which is uh, understandable, really, isn't it? They're more important than reflectors. Fitted with a 3 amp fuse. Yep. Now, why won't this go on the plug? I know it's the correct cover. Ah, that's why. Hey, hey, hey. What I hate about the fact I get paid today? Got to pay the phone bill. <laughs> Bills are never fun to pay. But, if I want to carry on with YouTube and carry on with the internet and whatnot, you know, and pissing people off on Facebook, because it's really easy to piss people off in my town. I don't even have to try. That's a scary thing. <laughs> it's so easy to wind people up in my town and my town's group. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> uh, da -da -da -da. There we go, that's a little bit. Zoomed out a bit. <sighs> I'm actually hungry again. And I haven't taken my evening pill. I think I forgot to take my pills yesterday morning, I couldn't remember. I've actually forgotten them on the odd occasion. Oh, fancy a biscuit to chuck to, a biscuit to chuck on. A bit oh, there. A biscuit to munch on. Why did I have so much difficulty saying that? Mm. Top that out is. Mm. 59 pence out of Lidl's. Well.
Nom 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 nom. Mm. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn the camera off. Because it took fucking forever to upload this video last night. Ray video last night. Oi. I don't get the timer when I've got the screen that one. And I've got to sort the footage out on this camera because I forgot to delete the old stuff. Oops. But I've noticed it starts a new folder every day. So as soon as it strikes midnight, this camera automatically starts a new folder. So that's not actually that bad a feature. Now I've got oats and bits all around in my mouth. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to. I've noticed I've got two new subscribers, so welcome aboard. I'm now up to 97, nearly to my 100 mark. That was a very rough sounding skewer. Oh, that's because there was a car with it. Ah. <laughs> I wonder why that sounded so rough. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.